Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are all doing well. In case this is the first video you're watching, I am Debashree and I make beauty and lifestyle videos. I do makeup tutorials, I talk about skincare and there's a lot more in between. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You can just click on that subscribe button and yeah, you can also press the bell icon so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. So in this video, I tried out faces. So this is like a one brand makeup tutorial everything on my face except for my lips because i had to change it um you will see at the end um is from faces canada it's a brand here in india i went to the store in malad and i picked up things that i wanted to try a few things i had already like their primer the liquid highlighter uh, but i really wanted to try their eye makeup i've used their kajal before i've used their eyeliner before and they are incredible they're very good quality so i wanted to try everything else that they had and everything that you see on my face is from faces and i hope you guys enjoy this if you want to see how i created this then keep on watching so i'm all bare faced i've applied lip balm so i want that to settle in very nicely once i do my makeup and then i am going to begin by prepping my skin so to moisturize my skin today i'm going to use their hydro face moisturizer so i've taken like a few pumps of it i've never really tried this product before um some of the products here i've tried before and some i haven't so i went to the store um in malad the infinity mall malad and i picked up like a couple of things that i wanted to try and i thought that looked interesting now faces as a brand I have only used their kajals. I've used their kajals so much. I'm such a big fan of their kajals. Um, they do a really good job of that. And the other thing that I've used from them is probably their glitter nail polishes. So I haven't really, and I, I think I've tried their highlighter as well, which I'm using today. I've used their primer. So that's the only thing that I've tried from Faces. And I really wanted to like dive into everything that they had. So. I remember it was my meet and greet at Westside when I had gone to the Faces store and I picked all of these products up. I'm not going to do my face first but I am going to apply the primer so that it just sets uh, well onto my face. This is their perfecting primer. It comes with a little bit of color in it and as you can tell it is correcting a little bit of the redness on my skin so I am basically applying this all over my face. So I like doing my eyebrows first before I start doing my eyes and I'm trying their Ultim Pro Brow Defining Pencil. It comes with the spoolie on the other end. I've never really tried this. I hope the color is a good match for my skin tone. I think they only had one color for me to choose from. It's a dark brown. Oh, I like this. It's nice. It's very soft. So I'm applying the concealer all over my eyes first. I'm gonna use that as a base for my eyeshadow today. And now I'm just setting that concealer with loose powder. So I'm going to begin by using the Ultim Pro Eyeshadow Crayon in the shade O Carol. So this is going to be like the base color. So I'm going to tug my eyes slightly and then use a brush to like blend the edges. I don't know why as I am smudging it, it's changing color. Can you see it's darker? I thought my brush was dirty, but I went ahead and cleaned my brush and I'm using a very clean brush right now. And yet the color is getting darker than it is while I'm blending it. So I haven't blended this part here. So the part here, it's getting darker than the actual coppery shade that it is. But I don't mind. I wanted it to be a nice smoky eye anyway. So I'm going to quickly repeat the exact same thing on this eye. So 
So once I've blended both the side, I'm just going to take the shade right here and apply that just on top of where we applied that eyeshadow crayon. So I've taken it directly onto that brush. As you can tell, it's very metallic, very coppery and beautiful. I'm so excited to see how this looks. And I'm just patting this on. Oh my god, that is pigmented that is beautiful so I've taken it all the way to my inner corner as well so I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and then just blending the edges Oh my god, that looks so nice. So I'm going to repeat the exact same thing on this side. I love how the eyeshadow loads up on the brush. Stunning. So I'm going to use that as a nice transition shade and use that to blend in the color further. And to also deepen up the outer corner. I love how soft and smooth and buttery these eyeshadows are oh my god can you see how nicely it blends and diffuses it's like I have to do no work and I love when that happens so I'm just going into that shade and deepening up the outer corner and then I'm bringing the shade downwards So I'm taking the cleaner brush once again. Although it is pretty blended, I just want the edge to be slightly more diffused. And now I'm going to take this shade right here and use that to highlight the inner corner. So now I'm going to take the Intense Gel Kajal. I've heard really good things about this and I'm going to apply that both on my lower waterline and upper waterline. This is how I like my Kajals. Oh my god, this is so good. So I'm going slightly thicker than usual. So I'm taking this shade right here which is like a nice deep bronze. Similar to this but like a little shimmery and then I'm going to use that to diffuse the kajal that we just applied. And then I'm taking a fluffier brush and blending the edges. So this is the Heavenly Lashes Mascara. So I'm not very easily impressed by mascaras. Let's see how this one works. <laughs> so as you can tell, it has this very unique comb-like bristles. They're very separated. So far, I'm not impressed with the mascara at all. Do something. Oh my God, please do something. Oh god, I'm disappointed. I did not want to wear falsies for this look. I really hoped the mascara worked. Oh my god, that's sad. It's really sad. But I think this is gonna work well on my lower lashes. I'm gonna use the Ultim Pro Second Skin Foundation in the shade Sand. And I really like the packaging. It comes with the dropper. So 
Okay, so this foundation has a very heavy coverage. Oh my God, taken more product than I needed. And it also has a very warm undertone. So it's quite yellowish. It does sit very well. It, I can feel it set on my face. Oh my God, it has a very, very high coverage. Also, it does not really move well. So I have to take like more product on my nose, even though I have a lot of product here. The foundation is pretty thick, very, very thick. So I've taken the foundation on my neck as well because I want everything to match. Wow, this has a very intense coverage. Actually, I need to apply that on my ears too. Oh my God, so yellow. I hope this doesn't oxidize. It looked really nice in the store, but I don't know what happened. So the concealer is slightly lighter than the foundation. This is in the shade medium. And I'm gonna use that underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna use that to like highlight my face. I am very impressed with the concealer. So I went ahead and applied false eyelashes because I could not stand the bald lashes. Really wanted this eye look to pop because that's such a beautiful coppery bronze shade. And it's a really nice smoky eye and I don't want it to go to waste. I want it to look nice. So yeah, I'm just deepening up the outer corner just a little bit so once you do your face it's actually easier to tell where you want to like add or blend a little bit more eyeshadow so I always like going back to it A very beautiful shade okay for highlighter I'm gonna use the liquid highlighter first this is the Ultim Pro metallic glow I've had this for a long time as you can tell I've used quite a bit of it and I also have a powder that I'm going to apply after that this is their illuminating powder so the highlighter is pretty intense the liquid highlighter so I've taken like a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna use my finger to place it I'm going to be very careful so I've just applied like small dots and I'm gonna take a very small brush to kind of like blend this now I'm gonna use the powder on top of it this looks very promising so I'm just going over where we applied the liquid highlighter so for lipstick I sadly only have this one from faces it's called cafe date I bought this years and years ago when I was in Pune I think the shade is discontinued. I do not have any other faces lipstick. I just realized I I think was searching for like one lipstick at least and I could not find anything. Um, I need to invest more in faces lipstick. Please let me know what shades you guys like from the range. It's a very uh, nudey lipstick and I think it would work well with all of the darkness that is happening on the eye.
so I went ahead and changed my lipstick. I put Seduction by NYX. I could not take that lipstick. I thought for the sake of this makeup look at least, I will change up the lipstick. Um, you guys have already seen how the Faces 1 looks and I'm sure there's a nice uh, nude shade in Faces that you can swap that lipstick that I showed. Um, yeah, so this is the finished look. I really, really liked how the eyes turned out. I'm very impressed with the eye products, Kajal and the eyeshadows. Mascara, I absolutely hated. I'm really sorry. It's a nice mascara for every day, but for me, it did not really work at all. So I went ahead and applied falsies because I was actually looking bald, uh, like my eyes, because mascara actually changes everything. Your eyelashes changes everything when you're doing like a nice look like this. And I also am very impressed with the highlighter. I am not very sure about the foundation. The concealer I actually really really liked. I also really liked the loose powder. That's nice. Um, what else did we use? The blush. I'm still kind of unsure. The blush and the bronze. I'm still kind of unsure if I like it or not. I think I have to play around with it a little bit more. Um, I also am very impressed with the eyebrow pencil. Yes, almost forgot about that. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really liked how the eye makeup turned out. So that's it for this one brand makeup tutorial. Let me know which brand you want me to try next and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun trying out all these new products and giving you like my first impressions and my thoughts on them and it's always fun to play around with new makeup and create like looks and stuff. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you do not miss any videos that I upload and I would love for you guys to watch more and more videos from me. There's lots more coming and I'll see you very soon. Bye.